My name's Simone Haig and I'm an interior stylist and decorator. And today I'm excited to show you through my house. The first room that you come to in our house is our lounge room. And it really does have that sense of being in a tree house. Any good lounge room in my book should have a fireplace as the central feature. The fireplace is probably the one area of the house that hasn't been touched. So being in the interior decoration space, my passion is helping clients with furniture, art, object and styling. So I've seen my house as a, as a real experimental melting pot of pieces that I love and that maybe that I've bought intending to put into a project and then getting a bit attached to them. My favourite furniture piece is the Soriana sofa. This mirror is quite an eye-catching piece, pardon the pun. Um, it's from Jardin Furniture by a company called Reflections out of Denmark. And I love that it obviously reflects the light and the view, but in a bit more of an abstract way. So I had good friend Sarah Reid help me design the joinery here. And uh, there's a bit of a James Bond feature, which I'll show you. Having a fireplace as the focal space and having the TV hidden is a winning combination. So this pendant was purchased in New York. I love that it has that beautiful string that lets the light just creep through. It has some brass that's kind of patinaed really nicely. It's made use of this table that's beautiful to sit and tap away at the laptop or have a cup of tea with a girlfriend. So from the living room, you come through to the kitchen. We love how it has this um, panelling detail like the original cabinetry did and a little hidden dishwasher. But the best feature of the kitchen is the glass splashback. And we have this incredible table, which what I like is that rounded edge. I think it also means you're gonna get extra people around the table, but without those harsh, harsh edges. I was inspired for this house to choose a drape that wasn't a sheer and wasn't a solid, you know, very reminiscent of those mid-century houses. So this is the master wing in here. Again, you have that sense of green <laughs> through every window. The ledge behind the bed is one of my favourite devices to always style objects and books. It's always changing. I'm quite fond of the artwork on the ledge that was purchased in Palm Springs. And that was an incredible research trip for my husband and I, and it really gave us the inspiration for this house. This is where the house originally ended and with the advice of Kennedy Nolan Architects, we've extended through to a robe, a Zen deck, and of course, a beautiful ensuite. Thank you so much for joining Ralph and I on this tour and I hope you've enjoyed having a little peek into the decorator's own house.